Hi folks, my name is Zed and my idea is sausages. But not just any sausages, fish sausages. Strange, but true and quite delicious once you uh, get over the initial idea of them. So we do all sorts of fish sausages. Um, we do uh, salmon ones, smoked salmon ones, uh, which are delicious. But the ones I'm going for today are smoked haddock sausages. And they're fantastic. I think they're, they're healthy. They're a great way of introducing fish into your diet and they're really, really versatile. So you can use them for anything. You could have um, a smoked haddock sausage with all those smoky, strong flavours as uh, an alternative to the rashers in the full Irish breakfast or you can dress it up and put it on top of a, a bed of wilted spinach with some, um, some some posh sourdough toast underneath and a bit of foaming hollandaise sauce on top and you've got a really posh starter so they're really versatile. Okay so here's the ingredients. We have some lovely uh, naturally smoked haddock, so a nice pale yellow colour, none of that horrible bright orange, neon orange stuff. Um, and that's from K. O'Connell's uh, Cork's most famous fishmonger. We actually have hake. Usually I would um, kind of dilute the strong haddock flavour with natural um, fresh haddock, but sadly they didn't have any. And I'm a bit worried about hake because it is kind of a slightly wetter fish. Um, but we'll see what happens. And the other ingredients are really simple. I use leek rather than onion, and that's about the right amount of leek. Um, one egg white is plenty for all of this fish, uh, a small squeeze of lemon juice and a little bit of potato flour to help firm it up. Uh, potato flour is good for kind of um, keeping it celiac and gluten free, uh, celiac friendly and gluten free. Uh, so that's it, that's the ingredients in terms of what I'm going to do. Basically I'm going to slice up the fish into about one inch squares, something like that and put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes or so, just to get it really nice and cold, and that way it slices up better. Um, then I'm going to put it in the liquidizer, along with the, sorry, into the food processor to mince it, along with the leeks, and a little squeeze of lemon juice and seasoning. Um, and then what we're gonna do is kind of put it on a long um, piece of cling film, and roll it up into one very long sausage. So with this much fish, I'd say we're gonna get a sausage about a meter long, and we're gonna twist it into individual sausages and gently poach it for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, in fact, for haddock, I'm gonna give it, yeah, probably about 13, 14 minutes of gentle, po uh, gentle simmer, and uh, drain it, and then we're just gonna fry it off to kind of give it a bit of color, get those lovely flavors coming out of it. And that's it. That is what my haddock sausages are going to be. Thank you.